Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So today I've got a really fun video for you guys. It's not really an unboxing because I already took everything out of the box or the bag that it came in. But we are doing a collaboration today with Tamu, one of my favorite places to shop for plant accessories and supplies. So they reached out to me and wanted to do another video. We did a video together last year. And so I picked out some really cute planty stuff to show you guys. And I'm excited to show you what I got. So I tried to keep it pretty broad in terms of what I snagged. So there's some plant accessories, but there's also just some planty related home decor, things to wear, stuff like that. So I'm excited to show you guys what I picked out. And I'm going to start with this because I think there's pots in here. I genuinely don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is like a set of six individual pots. So of course, I'm going to leave everything that you guys need to know down below. I'll leave everything that I have purchased linked in the description box so that you guys can go and check out these same exact items if you want to. So this is the reason why I opened everything up first. You guys don't have to hear me fumbling with plastic bags. But yes, this is a set of six pots that I thought were really cute. They are just shaped like regular little terracotta pots. They are ceramic pots. They're not plastic. They've got drainage. And I just thought that these were going to be really cute for maybe some Hoya, some succulents. I've got a ton of cacti that need to be repotted. And I did really like these muted colors. So we've got pink, we've got blue. There's a really pretty green one. This nice brown color that I'm a big fan of. This, I guess like a darker green color. And my favorite this nice muted yellow. So six pots. Unfortunately, they don't have saucers, so I'll have to use terracotta or plastic, but I just thought the colors were really cute and they're really good quality ceramic pots, not cheap plastic ones. So I'm not mad about that. I like the little speckle design on here too. Makes it look like it has a little bit more texture. I'm not like a glossy, pot kind of girl it depends on the pot like I do have some glossy ones that I like but I do prefer a more like textured looking pot and I think these are gonna be so stinking cute for some of my cacti and succulents so that is the first thing that I got next I had my eye on a couple of blankets I'm a huge blanket person I don't know about you guys but I'm always cold and David is always on fire. So I am a huge, huge blanket person, but I have an issue with my cat always stealing my blankets. He wants to just have every single fluffy blanket for himself. And I thought that this one was gonna make a really cute throw blanket. It is in an airtight thing. So we gotta open it up and get it out and see what it's like i'd have to like stand up and show you guys but it is just an anthurium leaf looks like a fry deck and it's a blanket isn't that adorable stand up and show you a little bit better so it's pretty big i didn't i don't think i got the largest size i got kind of like a medium size i'll have everything listed exactly what i got um, in the description, like I told you guys, but I just thought this was going to be really cute, like thrown over our bed or like a guest room bed or the couch, something along those lines. It's a really nice size 
and it's really cute. It's soft, it's pretty thin, so it works really well as just like a decorative throw blanket, and I am not mad about it. So that is blanket number one and then blanket number two i'm very excited about because this is also going to look beautiful as a throw blanket but it's a little bit thicker so it's a little bit more functional i'm just such a i'm a sucker for blankets and throw pillows i love blankets and throw pillows so much and you guys know this is maybe not necessarily plant related but for me i feel like it is and it makes total sense because I don't just love plants, I love bugs, I love pretty rocks, I love nature in general. So when I saw this blanket, naturally, I had to have it because it's got moths all over it. And it's so pretty, look at how pretty that is. It's got this nice fringe on the ends as well. So I think this is gonna make an absolutely gorgeous throw blanket. It actually low key kind of looks like my tattoo, but that's fine. <laughs> so that is blanket number two. And they've got lots of similar designs to this on the website, but this one was my personal favorite. So definitely check it out if you like this as well. They have other similar prints. They've got just some really, really nice, cute blankets. And I don't know about you guys, but in my house, we can never have too many blankets. Okay, so this next one I'm very excited about because I wanted to snag like a cute either sweatshirt or just like this one's a crew neck. And I chose this one. Pretty sure it says just one more plant or just one more. And I really like this color. They call this color apricot. I'm actually just gonna throw it on really quick so we can see. Obviously it comes in lots of other colors. It's not super thick, so it's not like super sweatshirty material. It's more like a shirt. I'm not sure how to explain it, but I think it's gonna be really cute with like my brown hat that I like to wear and it goes with like my color palette <laughs> that I like to wear. And it's a nice length. I think I got it in like a medium or a large. I don't think there's a tag. I should say it on the bag though. Let's see. Apricot large. This is a size large. I think the graphic is really nice. It's probably not going to last too long because it is just like iron on. So I would just keep this like washing to a minimum. Maybe don't put it in the dryer. And it should last a decent uh, while. So I thought this was really, really cute. I'm just going to leave it on. <laughs> it might get a little hot, but I'm just going to leave it on. Okay. What next? Next, I, so I snagged this because I feel like I can never have enough spray bottles in my home. I have separate spray bottles for water only, alcohol only. I have a separate spray bottle just for my reptiles to spray them down every night. And I'm thinking that's actually what I'm gonna use this one for, but obviously you can use it for your plants. It's one of those pump pressure ones. You can adjust um, how much it's spraying, how aggressively it's spraying from here. So I can just have this as a fine mist and all I have to do is hold down this button and spray. And I think it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot better than the one you have to keep squeezing. Those spray bottles, because I use them daily, just never last. So I feel like this is gonna last a lot longer. The mechanism on those always just breaks very, very quickly. It's plastic. <laughs> it's not meant to be squozen like a hundred times a day. So this is great for your plants. You can put your fertilizer in here. If you've got like a foliar spray that you use on your plants, this is gonna be great for pest control. Obviously you can just use water if you're one of those people that likes to mist their plants for whatever reason. But for me personally, this one is going to be my new filtered water only bottle for my reptiles in their enclosures. So I can give them a good spray down every night without breaking water bottles over and over and over again. I thought this one was cute. 
So they've got tons of different colors and sizes on the website, but I liked this one. So this is the one that I snagged. Okay, next, I actually already opened these because we ran out of paper towels the other day. And I remembered that I got these reusable paper towels. So I think they come in a pack of six. Yeah, because there's four left. And I used two of them. So I've been using one in the kitchen, two in the kitchen, and I've really been liking it. There's got all these cute little plant print patterns on it, and hopefully this will help me use less paper towels because I go through a lot of paper towels, and I don't feel like it's necessary when I'm just kind of like wiping down the counter or something really simple. So it comes in a pack of six, like I said, or you can just buy them individually. So I really like them. They have cute, planty patterns on them. I tried to pick stuff that was just really practical. We're moving soon, so we definitely need home stuff. And um, Tamo is actually a really great place to get some of that stuff for a very low price compared to other places. So ooh, this is a cute, I like it. Okay, I don't remember what's in here. Oh, this is a little mini watering can that I thought was cute. At first I thought it was a cup and I was like, girl, I did not order a cup. But it is like just one of these little watering cans with the metal spout. I don't know, it doesn't have like instructions on like what piece is supposed to go where. Oh, I think that one goes on the tip. Okay, so this one can go like on the tip if you want it to like rain more on your plants. But otherwise, this is just gonna like go in here and I'm gonna put water in here and water my plants. And I thought that this nice long one was gonna be good for some of my plants that are just like a little bit, a little bit high up or like a little bit further back. So again, I feel like you can never have too many watering cans. I feel like I go through them very quickly because they start to get a little shangad after a while. And um, I thought this one was cute and one that I don't mind kind of just like leaving, chilling on a shelf. So it's plastic, but it'll get the job done. And it has like the measuring stuff here if you're putting like pesticide or some sort of nutrient in your water. It's tiny, but it's cute. I thought it was cute and it matches my spray bottle. So. Okay, what's next? This is something that I tore open. <laughs> and I don't remember what it is. Oh, it's a mushroom. You guys, if you know me, you know I love my mushrooms. And this guy I thought was just really cute because I can use him for like propagations. It's just like a very thin, single blown probably piece of glass. And I thought like even just like little flowers or whatever, if you guys are like fresh cut flower kind of people or like little little propagations would look really stinking cute in here and like up on a shelf. Adorable, absolutely adorable. What's next? Oh, we got a little scoop. I've been wanting one of these. I have like a regular shovel and I still make a mess. So I feel like this little scoop is going to help me not make a mess when I'm repotting with my soil. Plus I like how narrow the mouth is. So I feel like you can like more deliberately place your soil. I feel like everybody has one of these but me. And now I finally have one and I'm excited to use it because I feel like they're really functional. So these come in tons of different colors. You can buy packs of multiples of these. I just needed the one and I thought it was cute and I surprisingly actually really like the color pink. I know I maybe don't seem like the kind of girl who likes the color pink, but I do really like the color pink. So there is that. What are you? Oh, tell me why I thought this was bigger. <laughs> and this is why you should always read the dimensions of things before you buy them. Look at this little dude. I thought this was gonna be like a pot, but it's not. It's like a 3D, pr 3D printed uh, little guy. And I think he's gonna be so cute with an air plant or something. 
coming up out of his head like hair. Do I have one where I can show you? Look at that. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. So, um, do I need an airplane holder? No, but I just, that's my hair. My hair is literally on it. I'm sorry. I just thought he was really cute. So, I snagged him. Okay, what else? I think this is a shower curtain. Yes, so again, like I said, we are about to move and I thought it was time to get a new shower curtain. I actually don't wanna open this because I'm not gonna be able to like fold it up as good. Oh well, we're opening it. It comes with the little thingies, but you can obviously get other ones or use whatever ones you have. My shower curtain that I have currently is also from Tamu, and I'm a big fan, but I thought it would be nice to switch it up. This one has like some ferns and stuff on it, and I like it. I don't want to unfold it all the way because I'm really bad at folding it back up, and I'm not going to be using it yet because we're literally moving in a couple of weeks probably we're not 100 percent sure yet what's happening but um we're definitely gonna need a new shower curtain and i'm a big fan of the tamu shower curtains i have a hard time finding shower curtains like in target and like the regular store that i like i feel like they're all really ugly and i like lighter colors i like the white background on these so they still let the light in while you're in the shower for those of us who don't have like i can't get it back in the bag for those of us who don't have a window <laughs> in our shower so there is that what else i think there's just a couple of things left here so i did also snag this little sun catcher i thought it was going to be bigger and I thought it was gonna be like more of like a stained glass kind of vibe. So I'm not sure that any light is really gonna be coming through here, but it's cute, right? And it comes with like a little hangy thing. And again, I just really like mushrooms. I think this is gonna look really pretty. You can even just like kind of rest it up against a window or like on a shelf like back here on the shelves I think it would look pretty so I just thought it was really cute and it's got the plants so it counts right there's plants in there <laughs> and um, yeah another reason why you should read the dimensions of things before you buy them but I still think it's very cute even though it is smaller than I thought it would be okay and last but not least there's tons of crystals on Temu, and I was curious because you guys know I love my crystals. I've got them all over the place, and I'm especially a sucker for a tower. So when I saw these, I had to see for myself if they were actually good quality or not. So this is a moss agate. I'm just going to push it out, and it feels good. Like, it's definitely not a fake stone or anything like that. Like, it's a real stone and it actually looks pretty good and it was a lot cheaper than the moss agate that I have so um it's not perfect it's definitely got some like boops where it's like a little but like sometimes that just naturally happens like there's some quartz in here that makes it look a little bit rough so I'd say that the only downside to buying crystals off of Tamu is that you just like you don't get to pick what specific crystal you want and that's a thing that I like to do so I mean I'm not opposed to snagging them off of Tamu. I just like I said I, I like to pick them myself and I just I had to know I had to know what this was gonna look like and it's really not bad. I mean, does it look like my really pricey moss agate that I have here? This is like literally a dream, this thing. Look at that. Look at that. So, no, it's very different. But this one also just has a lot of quartz in it. But I do still think it's really cute. 
so if you wanted to you totally could and I don't think it would be all that much of an issue they seem like good quality crystals at least this one that I bought is definitely real and it's 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 pretty decent quality it's not like high quality but it's like mid and I feel like that's what you would expect for the price so that is everything that I snagged today you guys let me know what your favorite is I feel like mine is probably this and like these really cute pots and like this adorable blanket that I can't wait to wash and use like so stinking cute you guys definitely do not sleep on Temu. I get tons of my supplies off of there as well like clear pots and gardeners tape those little clips that I use for propagations I just wanted to like use this opportunity to get more fun stuff and show you guys like all of the options that you have for clothing blankets plant accessories supplies pots crystals even just like home good stuff we got a shower curtain we got reusable washcloths or paper towels whatever they're called and I am not mad about it so definitely read reviews go through each item and make sure that like the stuff that you're picking is stuff that you really love they've also got an amazing return policy though it's really really easy to send stuff back if you get it and it doesn't fit or it's just not what you thought it was gonna be and um what can I say? I'm a big fan of Temu. I've been shopping there for over a year now and I have not had any issues. So I 10 out of 10 recommend checking it out. Make sure you take everything with a grain of salt. Like I said, pay attention to the reviews, pay attention to the dimensions of things, the fabric, the material, so that you know what to expect. And thank you so much to Temu for sponsoring this video and for sending us all of this really great stuff. We appreciate you guys. We are a lifetime customer, that's for sure. And that is it for this video, you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you liked anything that I snagged today, if you're gonna go and snag any of this stuff for yourself. It is like a fraction of the price of what you're gonna find the same exact items for on websites like Amazon. So do not sleep on Temu, you guys. I promise you, you will not regret it. So if you enjoyed hanging out with me today, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there if you wanna be part of the official plant fam. <laughs> some perky perks. I'm not sure why I danced like that. And I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Leave me some butterfly emojis if you watched this whole entire video. Some mushroom emojis as well because obviously those are two of my favorite things. And... I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water, and I will see you in the next day.